All right, my sweet darlings. Today we're taking a look at the situation where we've got a block which is partially submerged in some water so that it's floating. And what we're gonna do is solve for exactly how much of this block is submerged beneath the waterline. Now this problem comes up in lots of ways. Sometimes this is presented as a raft. Sometimes it's a bar of soap or a canoe or a barge, whatever. We've got an object, some of it's under the water, some of it's up above the water. Now to solve for how much of this block is under the water, the first thing we need to take a look at are the forces which are acting on this block. Now the first force we have to worry about is gravity, which is pulling this entire block downward. And then there's the buoyant force, which is keeping this block afloat. Now the important piece here is that these two forces are equal and opposite one another. That is to say the block is in equilibrium. These two quantities have to be equal to each other because if the force by gravity was greater than the buoyant force, the block would sink farther down into the water. Or if the buoyant force was greater than the force by gravity, this thing would take off like a rocket and that'd be weird. So first looking at the force by gravity, we know the force by gravity is given by the mass of the block multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. And we know the buoyant force is given by our equation for the buoyant force or Archimedes principle. where we've got the density of the fluid, in this case water, the acceleration due to gravity, and the volume of the fluid displaced by the block. And it's really important to recognize that this volume of fluid is not the volume of the entire block. It's only the volume of fluid which is going to be displaced by the part of the block which is beneath the water line or submerged within the water. Now we're going to treat this as though this is fresh water, so the density of the fluid is simply going to be 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, times the volume of our fluid, which I'm just gonna show as capital V. So going back up here, setting our buoyant force equal to the force by gravity, we find this 0.6 meters cubed of water which is displaced by this block. Now realize, that means that there's 0.6 cubic meters of block underneath the water. So this volume of 0.6 meters cubed is going to be the length times the width times the height of block which is submerged underneath the water. Now we know the length and width of block which are beneath the water. And we're trying to solve for this height. And we find that the bottom edge of the block sits 0.3 meters beneath the water line. So this is how you go through and solve for how deep a block or raft or bar of soap or whatever sits beneath the waterline. And on that note, that's all for now.